Hi everyone, um, a short point I want to make about bayonets, okay, uh, in fact two points. Um, firstly, there seems to be a perception um, in, amongst certain historians and also perhaps computer gamers and so on, um, that the bayonet is a very awesome and powerful weapon. Well first of all I should say I am a fan of bayonets, I think they're good. Um, but there are two things I really want to say about them that should be borne in mind, I think, in any conversation about bayonets. The first thing, I am holding a bayonet here incidentally, although I don't need to be. Um, the first thing is that um, the bayonet stab itself, the thrust, as I've said in a previous video, the actual thrust of the bayonet into your body doesn't inherently do any more damage than a thrust from any other pointy implement. Okay? If that much bayonet goes in your body, then that's pretty much the same as that much sword going in your body or that much spear going in your body and so on. Okay, So the bayonet isn't going to give you a more dangerous wound necessarily than any other pointy weapon that sticks in your body. Okay, So that's the first thing. Um, the bayonet thrust is not more dangerous to you than any other pointy weapon thrust once it's in your body. Okay. The second point is that, yes, bayonets have reach, which is a good advantage um, against a sword or someone with a knife or a tulwa or some other kind of weapon. Um, it is essentially a kind of spear, and of course the length of the bayonet depends upon both the length of the bayonet itself and the length of the rifle or musket that it's attached to. Um, and uh, if you take, for example, a modern uh, British Army rifle, the L98A2, and add on the really crap bayonet that it has on the front of it, it's a bullpup rifle, so you end up with a very short weapon. And I would even argue that your best, your best bet if you're going to try and use that bayonet in a hand-to-hand in -hand fight is actually to hold the bayonet like a knife in your hand uh, rather than attaching it to your rifle. But that's another discussion. Um, so yes, the bayonet has reach. Um, however, it is a cumbersome weapon. Okay? The, the bayonet, whilst it has the reach of a spear, has the cumbersomeness of a rifle, obviously, because your spear point is attached to a rifle. And rifles are, it, compared to hand weapons, heavy objects. Um, I can't necessarily reel off exact weights of, of exact uh, rifles off the top of my head, but if I remember correctly, a Martini Henry rifle, which is what the British Army was using in the 1870s, 1880s, against uh, Zulus and Afghans and other people um, in, in that sort of colonial period, um, and using the bayonet to a fair degree at that point. Um, the, the rifle itself weighs, I believe, about seven or eight pounds, which is about the weight of an entire poleaxe or halberd. Okay, um, but clearly it doesn't have anything like the length uh, or, or, or usefulness in hand-to-hand -hand combat of, of, of a halberd or, or a poleaxe. Um, so, yes, the bayonet has reach, however it is relatively slow. Okay, so the, the, one of the advantages of a spear is not only do you have the reach of the long pole weapon, but you can also move it around very, very quickly because a spear is relatively light. Uh, as light as a sword, really, most of the time. Um, uh, but the bayonet is both heavy and long. Okay, uh, So there we go. There are the two points I really want to make. Firstly, that a bayonet stab is no more fatal to you than any other kind of stab that makes the same size hole in your body. It's the hole in your body that's important, not the weapon that's attached to it. Um, and Secondly, that bayonets, whilst they're great, they're really, really good and we've got lots of good things that I can say about them, we should also remember that they're quite cumbersome as hand weapons, uh, quite heavy, heavy things. Uh, and yeah, there we go. Thank you.